13-year-old Monty and his nine-year-old sister Jillian and their mother Lenny to the show. Please make them welcome. Monty is, as you can see, a violinist. He's an award-winning composer. Jillian uh, is a cello prodigy. And Lenny, also, you're, you're a musician yourself, aren't you? Yes. But did you teach your children how to play? In Suzuki Method, the parents learn along with their children, so I was their home teacher. When, when I, did they pick up an instrument? Uh, Jillian at age two, and my son at age four. And did uh, Lenny teach, uh, sorry, did uh, your son teach Jillian to play? He actually was responsible for most of her beginning playing oh. on the violin. M Monty, do you remember when you started playing? Yes, yes, I do remember when I started playing. I was four years old, and then when I was six years old, I was admitted to the Youth Orchestra of Florida. Huh? What are you working on right now? As in what? Uh, what are you writing right now? Oh, composing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm on a very difficult task for writing. I'm working on my very first symphony. You're writing a symphony? Yes. Wow. When did you pick up the cello? When I was four years old. Is it high, what's the most difficult thing about it? Trying to reach over and getting the high shifts down over the cello. <laughs> really? It, it's, it's quite a phenomenal uh, instrument for a young woman to play because it is difficult. Physically, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, you have to sit there. And is, that a, is that a small one or is that a proper size? It's a smaller cello. Uh -huh. um, you're going to treat us today. What are you going to do? We are going to play a gavotte by George Reinhold Glier. I am thrilled, and uh, I, I, I want to. I, do, do you go out? Do you go out and play? Do with other kids? Do you, or do you spend most of the time indoors playing music? We usually play indoors playing music. All right. Do you have any fears for your children? Actually, no. Music builds the heart, and I think that they have something that will go with them forever in whatever they decide to do. Right. I know. I know that. It will help in college. It's you should have some a sport or a you know some type of activity, and I feel that music was a good activity for them. Well, Jillian, Monty, you are absolutely precious. Do you mind stepping up to the microphone for me? I'd love to hear what you've got to play. For.
young prodigies. And next, a seven-year-old who's never had any training is going to astound you with her voice. And a surprise guest, the youngest musician ever to write, produce, and perform a number one hit joins us. That's next. Monty.